Hello everyone, and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. I'm Binary Dragon, and I'm going to show you a very simple 2x2 two two door, or the so simple 2x2 two two door, as I'm calling it. It's really easy, and you don't need much. So let's look at what you need. You will need four pistons, 15 redstone dust, three redstone torches, some blocks, and that's it. Okay, so let's get building. First off, we're going to create our little platform down here. So we're going to add these, skip this one, add two here, and then three here. Then one block here, and one block here, and one block up like this, and one block up like this. Now that's that bottom platform done. So we had our redstone on top like this. A few more pieces there. Now we need redstone torch right there. And a sticky piston on top, which can be tricky. Just place it like if you just oh, get it to, there we go. Then we need to place a block on top, and that's a piece of our door already in the closed position. So we'll place our floor around like this, there, there, there. Just place it right around the piston, just so you can see where the floor is. Oops, like that. And, oops, and there you go. Uh, I think another layer on either side, just so we can see what we're doing. All right, now that's done. We're going to add our pressure plates. Now they go right here, so you need them right there and there, and then just parallel on the other side. And those are the inputs done. So we're going to add our redstone torches and continue our piston circuits. All right, so a block there and a block there, which powers those and then powers those. Now we need to put our piston here. I'm going to put a block here to make it easier. Just place it facing you this way. And then some redstone here to power it. Now for my design I've got a hole in the door just for aesthetics so I've got my stairs upside down but you can place whatever you want and that's half of the door done. Alright for the next two pistons what we're going to do is we're going to place a piston facing ourselves on the side of this block like this. Alright it's already working so place our stairs for my design. You can place a block again whatever you want and then that works. Place these blocks over here one there for construction take it out if you need to. And then we finish off with just three pieces of redstone, just like that. All right, now our final piston. If you don't need blocks above you, you'll need to place it against the redstone here. So grab a sticky piston and place it facing down like that. And then another block right there. And ta-da, it works. So now you can just add the facade. It's done, it's finished. So just put these around like this. I'm using the same blocks as the door, but you can use whatever you want. You can place these blocks here. None of these blocks will affect the redstone. You can even place them in front of the door. It doesn't do anything, but that's stupid, so I'll take them out. And then we finish off. That can go there, right? Yeah, that can go there. And then here, here, and there, there, and finally there. And those are all the blocks on the outside. Done. Now, you can add blocks in here if you like. I've put glowstone in the other one. Just put solid here. And then it opens and closes and is incredibly fast. And that is the so simple 2x2 two two spiral door and I hope you find it useful. As I said, it's really small, so it's only six wide and seven tall, and it uses no repeaters whatsoever, so it's super fast. So if it helps you in your survival, then I, I suppose you're welcome. That's cool too. Anyway, I'm going to be doing another video on how I came to all of these groovy conclusions, but that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you soon. Bye.